Okay, negative exponents. So as we saw in grade nine, what to do with negative exponents with numbers, we're now gonna see what to do with letters. So let's take x to the negative two. What we're gonna do is, when working with negative exponents, we're always gonna start off with an over. Now we're gonna bring the thing with the negative exponent to the bottom and make the exponent positive and just put a one on top. Bring the thing to the bottom and make the exponent positive. Circle your answer, check your answer, pick an x value, put it into the question, put it into the answer, check mark. And the rule in algebra is off to the right, it's on the review sheet at the end, whatever. Okay, what if we have a negative exponent on the bottom? Well, vice versa, we're just gonna bring it to the top. Whoops, forgot my over to start with. We're gonna bring it to the top and make the exponent positive. Put the one on the bottom, whatever, do it or don't. Check your answer, pick an X value, put it in. Okay, this is from grade nine. So start off with an over. Now, A has an exponent of negative two. What does three have an exponent of? Well, it has an exponent of one. So it's positive, so it doesn't come down. So A to the negative two, Excuse me, A comes down, make the exponent positive. I just corrected a negative to be positive. I'm going to actually just going to erase it. I'm going to do it again. Bring the A to the negative 2 to the bottom and make the exponent positive. Now the 3 is just sitting on top. So it stays just sitting on top, completely eliminating some flip it rule. And we want a further theory about that back in grade 9, so go check it out. Okay, three to the negative three, a to the negative two equals negative exponents. Start off with an over. Now they both have a negative exponent, so bring them both to the bottom and make both exponents positive. Put a one on the top. One on the top, three cubed is 27, a squared. Pick an a value, put it in the question, put it in the answer, check mark. Okay, what if we have brackets like two x all to the negative three? Well, negative exponents are of an over. Well, it all comes down. And we make the exponent positive. Put one on top. Now, on the inside, the x2 has an exponent of 1, and x has an exponent of 1. So we're going to multiply the exponents. So we get 1 over, and 2, 1 times 3 is 3. Or, you know what? Skip it. I'm going to skip a step. 2 cubed is 8. Come on, people. 1 times 3 is 3. x cubed. Just multiplying the exponents together. And then doing another step. Reminder, kind of below but off to the right, I'm going to do it. x to the negative 2 plus 5 over 3 is not 5 over x squared cubed. We can't just make up some rule. Slash that equal sign. Red, slash that equal sign. You can't do that. Don't just make up a rule like bring it to the bottom and make the exponent positive. It's got to be one of the simple examples from above to do that. If you want to do this... Go back to grade 9 and look at it, or go to grade 11 and work out complex fractions. Okay, so let's shrink that up a bit. So remember, step 1, start off with an over. When negative with exponents, start off with an over sign. So let's take another question. 2x to the 5, y to the negative 2, over... Notice I use the lines perfectly all the time. Z slash your Zs to the negative 3. So again, remember, equals start off with an over. Go down if you want. Okay, so 2 is on the top by itself with an exponent of 1. I'm going to leave it on top. X to the 5 is on top all by itself with a positive exponent. I'm going to leave it on top. Y to the negative 2 is on top. I'm going to bring it to the bottom and make the exponent positive. Z to the negative three is on the bottom. I'm gonna bring it to the top and make the exponent positive. Circle your answer. Start off with an over. Put anything that has not moved. Move whatever needs to be moved. If nothing is left on top, put a one there. Okay, a little bit more on when you can flip it. So let's go for X over Y to the negative two. Well, I would rather you give an exponent of 1, x an exponent of 1, y an exponent of 1, and then multiply the exponents together. 1 times negative 2 is negative 2. 1 times negative 2 is negative 2. Then start off with an over, and 
x to the negative 2 is on the top, so we can bring it to the bottom, make it positive. And y to the negative 2 is on the bottom, we can bring it to the top, make the exponent positive, and circle our answer. And you can see in the notes, I did a big or, where you can flip it and make it a positive. And go back to grade 9 and see the full theory on that. Even further below that are a whole bunch of alternate solutions. For example, you can subtract from the bottom based on the theory off to the right. Excuse me, you can subtract from the bottom on the left based on the theory on the middle, or you can subtract from the bottom based on the theory on the right. Or, the next example with the x's, you got x to the negative 3 on the bottom, you can bring it up and add. Or subtract from the bottom. Or subtract from the bottom. Or bring it down and add. Just like, you just can't break any of the laws. Do whatever you want to. Just don't break any of the laws. So, we learned about, on the last page, adding, subtracting, and multiplying exponents. We've now dealt with negative exponents. So, so far, we've looked at, in red, adding, subtracting, and multiplying. Those look like similar things. And things to the negative. That is what we've seen so far. We're now going to take a look at fractional exponents.